So, here we go again. Here I go again on my own. Like a drifter, I'm always alone. <laughs> a little bit uh, white snake action here. So, um, uh, I still should have three albums, three records in this box here. So, um, the game continues. And I'm really curious what I'm gonna pick. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is Tattoo Man by uh, Denise McCann. Another album from the 70s. Um, so, there is a bit of a lore behind this record. I don't know how exactly true it all is, uh, but the story goes that uh, Denise McCann was recording her next album uh, in 1978 and uh, it was, uh, as expected, uh, supposed to be a type of a folk rock, folk rock uh, record with uh, probably some country rock leanings. And uh, But at the same time, I think this was recorded in Los Angeles, uh, in California, and at the same time, yeah, I mean the the band and the singer were spending their evenings in the local club scene, uh, chilling after a uh, busy day in the music studio, and uh, they kind of realized that there is a bit of a discrepancy between the music they were recording in the studio and just the music they had so much fun in the evening when they went to the clubs f dancing because this is 1978 and everybody was kind of a uh, entangled in the disco fever and kind of jazz funk fever and uh, they started to become a little um, unhappy with this situation so but then they were thinking we have all these songs we, are, we have writ written all these songs um, and the songs are kind of actually good but what if we just start to record them again and just um, change the arrangements, change just the vibe, just the style of these songs uh, and make them just more funky, more kind of disco-ish and uh, would this work? So uh, this is what they did. They went to the studio and record, started to record their own songs again, but this time um, kind of more in the spirit of uh, the music that was surrounding them. Now, I don't know if this story is true, but uh, this is how I kind of read it somewhere uh, many years ago. So uh, uh, let's not make it too complicated. And uh, um, so this this came out on Papillon, so you can check out this nice Papillon label. And uh, yeah, let's play just the first track on the album, uh, which is coincidentally also the title track of uh, this record called Tattoo Man.
lovely track. Uh, of course, uh, very uh, kind of disco-ish and very kind of late 70s disco vibe, uh, but uh, there's just everything in this song that you could wish. Um, I really love the saxophone part that comes in, like in the last third, uh, giving it a bit of a kind of funky jazz funk vibe and uh, I even enjoy these congas um, suddenly coming in. So uh, wonderful melody, great singing. You cannot uh, find any fault in this type of track, at least I can't. So yeah, this is a great record. I guess uh, if my story about uh, the production of this album or, or what motivated uh, this uh, style of music, if this is true, it's kind of interesting to listen to this song and to uh, wonder uh, if there are still some kind of underlying components or elements there that uh, remind you of the original intent to record a kind of a country rock album. And uh, I think sometimes you can hear it in some moments uh, where you can imagine, oh yeah, this was maybe supposed to be a different type of record. But um, it's a cool one. It's kind of a nice, uh, funky... Uh, album from 1978. Denise McCann, Tattoo Man. What more could I say about it than this was great fun. So uh, let's continue and uh, see you in the next video.